Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our Laravel 9 e-commerce series. In previous video, we have done with the add and view the slider. And now in this video, we are going to do with edit and update the slider and then delete the slider too. So now guys, let's get started. So first, let's move on this table view at the edit button. Okay. So yep. And here is our table view for the slider. And this is our edit button. Perfect. So now guys, let's create a URL url with the prefix admin forward slash your sliders forward slash with the id dollar slider of id concatenate here and tell forward slash edit all set so now guys let's create a route for this let's go to web.php first web.php and create a route colon colon get method where you set the route and instead of this dollar slider let's remove that and tell slider okay and now you set up the edit function let's go to the slider controller and create a function with the name edit function edit function and you slider and this will be a slider and remove this so here you get whatever the id you send that data only will get so let me return and show you the output so make sure you are following the correct path so whatever i'm setting if it is same like this then it is going to work correctly okay let me show you that so let's refresh guys once now click edit so you get that id number one okay so don't get confused guys uh, that is there is only one id so it is getting one id let me just add few okay so guys i have added few more sliders let me edit with the two and you get that id two so here you see id two and it's data you are getting perfect so now guys let's edit this so yep and here let's remove this variable slider and use a view function where admin folder my slider folder and then create a edit blade file okay so you need to move on create blade of slider let's go here so i'm on the create blade slider let's create a file edit dot blade dot php and what we are going to do we are going to copy the same form of create and paste in the edit because it's going to be the same so let's copy that and paste here all set and now let's change the title and all so instead of add slider let's tell edit slider and here you send the variable dollar slider of id okay so how are you getting this variable slider let's get back to the controller guys okay so this is my controller and here use a compact function to send this slider variable okay send here and now get back to the edit blade and then you are going to use this variable that's it so now let's use a value at attribute and open and close curly brace dollar slider of title copy and here open and close curly brace description for the description area and this is your image so guys let's use an image tag image tag src is equal to open and close curly brace asset function double quotes and the variable with the column name that is image and you can set a height and width guys width colon 50 pixel and height colon 50 pixel it's enough to show and if you give a alt here you can show that slider that's it and now this is your status when it is checked or not checked we need to know that right 
so for that guys you are going to give double curly brace dollar slider of status double equal to if it is checked that means one else checked else null save it and now change the button name to update and then we are going to update this record with not with this okay oops we have made a mistake guys we need to concatenate in the form not in the back button okay i made a mistake so here remove this remove this add and paste that and we are going to update this record using put method so method function put perfect so now you need to get back to your web.php so go to web.php create a route using put method so what was the correct route let's go on edit blade file here is my route let's copy this route and get back paste here so admin is prefix remove that and this is the slider okay so let's remove this also and just send the slider or slider id however you want okay so if you send this directly slider you can edit with the type also i mean direct with the model else you will be finding the id okay now go to update function let's copy this move to the controller slider controller here and create a function function and you find that update and then use a slider model okay this is my slider model and the variable slider and then so we are getting the request also so for that guys we have already done the validation in the form request let's copy from the store okay let's paste here before the slider that's it so all the request we are getting with the validation so if you want you can go and check here what are the validations we have given all set and then your slider so yep we don't need to rewrite the code let's copy it from the store and paste here so first step we are just requesting everything and doing the validation if it has the image then upload the image and delete the old image so for that you can create a variable called destination is equal to your path so the path is nothing but the variable slider here and we have that image okay in that image only we have stored the path so you can call this directly and now you need to check with the if condition where file colon colon exists exists function where your destination should be available so if the destination image is found then you are going to use file colon colon delete function to delete that destination image okay and now guys you need to import its class so import the class so let's select here illuminate support facets file so imported let me show you that okay so here it is now get back so you delete that file and upload it again newly okay and that's it and here you select with the status and now here you need to use the update function where you have to give a condition here where id okay so what id dollar slider of id okay so where is this slider coming from it's coming from your model okay so before doing all this updating record let me comment this first okay all set let's get back and now let's view this slider whether this is working or not so you need to check that right let's return and see the output okay so i'm going to edit with id number two So you see that ID2, all the data is visible here. And now I'm going to click update and it should give ID number two all the record. 
perfect so it's giving id number two records and if you select with the id one also it should give the id one record so we are on the id one your id one and now let's update this so you should get all the id one record perfect so you get the id one record so according to this only we are going to edit and update it so yep guys let's be on the edit page and remove this let's uncomment and change the message slider updated successfully cool and now get back let's refresh once guys and now guys let's change this slider one to best e-commerce updated okay let me update with this also slider updated and let's change the image also okay so this is my id1 and here is the image let me show you that image so this is the image guys okay let's update new image instead i will update the laptop image okay let me open and let's update it update perfect slider updated successfully here you see the laptop image is added okay and let's check that old image is deleted perfect so that old image is deleted and it is replaced with the laptop cool so now let's begin with deleting this slider okay let's get back to the table view so this is my index of sliders let's set up the url where you'll tell admin forward slash sliders forward slash the id let me copy it and paste so instead of edit let's tell delete okay before this i wanted to confirm and delete so guys i want to add a let me bring it down so guys before this i wanted to add a javascript code okay confirm and delete part so let's use on click is equal to where return and use a confirm function okay are you sure you want delete this slider question mark that's it and now you can check save it and now let's refresh okay and now i'm going to click on delete so yes are you sure if i click ok then it will load the page so let's click ok and you see it's going to this path so let's create the route for this let's copy it go to web.php create a route colon colon get method so i'll be using a get method to delete this and instead of slider id i have to use slider so you get that data correctly and now let's remove this admin not required because we have a prefix and here you set your desk troy function in the slider controller so let's move to the slider controller add below let's update that function with the name destroy here you get your slider dollar slider okay you got the variable and now you can return and just do this okay so let's see whether it gives the id or not at least so now if you refresh here you get the id cool so we get the id one and now if you delete with id three let's delete id3 slider3 here you get id3 and the slider3 product cool so now guys let's write the code like if you delete this slider okay if you are deleting the slider with this you have to delete the image also okay so when i delete this it should delete this image too so for that let me just copy from the update function here let's copy this 
and paste it so before deleting your row delete the image and then delete the row so you can check this this is a if condition count function you need to count whether if it is greater than zero at least one record is there then delete it okay so you find that slider image path and delete the row and delete your data once deleted get back like slider um, let's keep this inside if condition slider deleted successfully else you can return and redirect like something went wrong that's it okay so let's save and now let's check so i'm going to delete with the id one let me delete yes perfect slider deleted successfully and you see that the slider is deleted and now let's check that laptop image here you see that laptop image is also deleted cool guys so guys we have successfully completed with the edit and update and delete the slider so now guys i have just added the slider and now guys we are pending with one testing that is the status part okay so when i click this check the status and i'm not going to update this or this or image okay so i'm going to check with the status and let's update this record let's see what happens so let's click update undefined array that is image okay oops it is searching for that column image the image is not there but we need to make this nullable so let's get back to our migration okay let's get back to the migration database where is the database migration and here this is a slider okay slider migration and you see that we for the image we have not given nullable so you need to give this nullable guys over here okay either you refresh and migrate it or else you can just change directly in our database so let's go to that structure let's directly change here change and i change to make it nullable null okay and it is checked here also null let's save so you can see that we have done with this yes and null so now guys let's browse and now let's get back to the code okay so we are done with this migration here close it and now go to your slider controller part at this image you have to like it will search for the array data okay whatever the key it's searching for this image so it is mandatory to give here let's give a like conditional whether you should accept this or this okay so here what we have to do we have to give the old image name itself so what we can do is that we will get this the slider and the image okay this condition is coming only in this type of update so if you are updating like another method it won't give this error so you have you can ignore this step okay so now guys let's save this and now let's test it once so let me click on update here so i'm checking the status let's click update on the id number four okay so you need to see that it's updated perfect so slider updated successfully you can see that and it's shown the status as hidden and let's edit once again and it should be checked by default okay you can see that it is checked also cool so let's get back all set guys we have done with our edit update delete and testing also so in this video that's it guys and let's continue in next video to show the slider and this view and in our laravel e-commerce project so guys Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.